Hello, my name is Venkatesh. Welcome to Let's Talk Algorithms. Today we'll be solving the problem reverse nodes in K group. Let's start with the problem description. Given a linked list, reverse the nodes of a linked list K at a time and return its modified list. K is a positive integer and is less than or equal to the length of the linked list. If the number of the nodes is not a multiple of K, then left of nodes in the end should remain as it is. So we have a couple of examples given a linked list 1 to 5. If k is equal to 2, then you reverse 2 elements at a time. So 2, 1, 4, 3, 5. If k is equal to 3, then 3, 2, 1. Since 4, 5 is less than the number number of elements specified, that is k. So you won't be modifying them. So let's start with the workbook and figure out a solution so as you can see there is a given linked list as an example so there is a given k the default intuition is um, to break down the linked list into k parts break the list into k parts and reverse each part right let's say k is equal to 2 so if you break the list in a way that you know you have 1 2 3 4 and you can't break 5 because it's a single element which is less than 2 um, and you reverse the individual list like 1 2 would be 2 1 and 3 4 would be 4 3 so yeah the reversing and breaking and reversing works but how do you stitch them together because you end of the end of the day you have to give the head which uh, represents the actual list so for that you can use a temporary header temporary head like use a temporary to keep track of the list what do I mean by that? So let's say you have um, the list one, two, three, four, five. What you can do is you have you can have a temporary head which points to the actual list. So we we will always have a hook to this uh, temporary head, and even though the list changes, you can use basically when you have to finally return the header head element which represents the list you can just do ts.mixed so assuming this thing um, let's start coding so let me comment this out let's start with having a temporary head Uh, I'll be using go for this if you have seen my previous videos you would know go is very readable so even if you are not um, familiar with go you should be able to follow so let's have a temporary head which basically the temporary head next points to the actual head and let's have a current which points to the temporary head also if you uh, see if k is less than 2 that is if k is 1 here um, you you won't be able to reverse one element at a time right it, it will still be the same thing um, so if k is less than 2 or k is equal to 1 uh, you can just return the head so we can have that exit condition if k is less than 2 you can return the head all right so let's start um, traversing to the actual list so let's say uh, for current dot next not equal to nil which is basically the head so let's have two temporary pointers start is equal to current dot next and is equal to current dot next um, as I said we have to break down the list so to break down the list you need a start and end pointer so that uh, where does that each of the 
key blocks are starting and ending so now we have a start and end let's have a small inner loop like for i equal to 1 i less than k and we can have n not equal to nil i plus plus n equal to n not left so what this statement does is um, basically move n k times so we'll basically find the first um, kth, kth element so once we find this also once we once you move to the you know end you could you have to check to make sure that the list actually didn't end there right if the end is equal to null then you can just click so what you can do is like once you have like example if k is equal to 2 the start will be at 1 um, and the end will be at 2 so what you can do is um, you can store the this pointer uh, in a temporary variable so let's say you can just call it next is equal to you know um, if 2 is the end you can call it next is equal to n dot next and break the link and equal to n dot next equal to null so what you're doing is so this part of the program you're storing it in a temporary variable next and then you're breaking the chain between two and three the reason you're doing this is um, this is to um, consider each of the k sub uh, list as an uh, independent list so that when you reverse them uh, you can use this chain uh, to hook up with the uh, initial pointer so let's do that so next is equal to n dot next and n dot next is equal to null so we have uh, the link stored already in a temporary variable and we are breaking the link so now start and end represent just one and two um, so let's reverse one and two um, if you have solved the problem reversing a linked list you would know that you could use uh, two pointers and a head uh, to reverse the nodes in the linked list let's do that so i have a temporary which points to the start so let's have a previous node um, these are temporary node two. So for t not equal to nil, what you would do is next is equal to t dot next. T dot next is equal to previous. Previous is equal to t. T is equal to next. If you are not understanding this part of the code, um, just know that you are just reversing the list here reverse the k part of the list so what happens once you reverse it right so once you reverse it then you can just assign current dot next is equal to n the reason you're doing is uh, once you reverse it the list will the list would look like something like this one um, with a pointer to two you know um so what you're doing here is current dot next is equal to n n is two right so you you, you see what you're doing you point, you're reversing a list basically you're starting with the first kth sub list and now the so the current looks like this current is pointing to two and two is two is pointing to one so we'll do current dot next is equal to n and um, once you have current dot next equal to n then you will do start dot next equal to next remember we have this temporary variable stored next which actually stores the rest of the linked list link 
so you are moving start to there because now we, we have to find the next chain and then once you have it you change current is equal to start so current is equal to start um, again um, takes us takes the current we are using current to loop to find out um, the next case sub list so by moving current is equal to start you will start at the next element so that is three so once you have um, have all this stuff you can just return h dot next um, th dot next remember th is your temporary head uh, which you stored all the details so let's comment this stuff out see if our code works right so right let's run the code now uh -oh. so go is not so forgiving so I think this is completely opposite to what we were expecting just give me a minute so start and current equal to next and if I'm game and equal to and next next door t is equal to start right. so the expected value is supposed to be all this stuff I think we are not incrementing current somewhere here see the condition we had here and it should be if and is equal to nil then only should break the pre the previous condition was and not equal to nil so it broke immediately and uh, that's the reason you see the list is not reversed into k okay blocks yes so now you see the output and expected match let's submit this code see if it works yep so it's all it runs in four seconds and it beats 100 percent of golang solutions if you have any questions feel free to um, add a comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you